Alas, poor Velma, we knew her more than we ever cared to. Oh, that's right, friends. Do we have some good news, bad news, and different news? Well, it's it's news that I think everyone could have predicted that Velma would be canceled because no one likes Velma. Do you remember? Do you remember when it first came out and how many people hated it? Do you remember when they were naked? They were drawing naked teenagers, and it was funny because they were naked and dying and things. Remember how he asked for, like, an adult Scooby-Doo in cartoon form and not human form? Do you remember we asked for a show that didn't even have Scooby-Doo in it? Do you remember when we asked for a high school prequel of Scooby-Doo? Do you remember that? Do you remember when they race-swapped all of the characters for no particular reason just because they felt like it, even though they could have had the voices be the same people but kept the characters drawn exactly the same? Do you remember when everybody was asking for them to change the characters that had been the same for 40 years? Do you remember that? Do you remember when they took Scrappy-Doo and turned him into an evil science experiment that was half dead? Do you remember that? Do you remember when they made it so that Velma was dead? But we still had to watch the show anyway? Do you remember that? <laughs> so, so no one asked for any of those things. Well, let's check out the articles. It's official. I almost released this yesterday because there were rumors that it was getting canceled, but the creator posted it and then deleted it because, or not the owner, the creator of the show posted it and deleted it because he was, he had not gotten official word. I'm sure he got some kind of word. And then Max came out and said, suck it, Velma. I mean, it still did his damage. It still permanently has scarred my psyche. So, you know, when Mindy Kaling self-inserted her into the show, do you remember? Do you remember when they asked Velma and Daphne to be lesbians together forever? Do you remember when they said that Fred would have a tiny penis like a little boy? Do you remember that? <laughs> do you remember when they have Shaggy and he didn't even like smoking weed at all? Because, and he wasn't really hungry. Do you remember that? <laughs> uh, so, they, they filled a Halloween special, which no one asked for. Last time I checked in, and I tried to watch it. I tried to make it through the second season. I could not. And I tried, <laughs> tried to watch the Halloween special. I think I got, like, ten minutes in. And I was like, she's dead. I don't, it not, there's just not a funny thing about it. Shame on you, Charlie Grandy, from The Office and The Mindy Project. <clears throat> we know who wrote all the bad episodes on The Office. It's a more adult-oriented prequel reimagining of the brainy Scooby-Doo character. Ugh, Mindy Kaling. Uh, yeah, haunted by the disappearance of her mother, who wasn't dead. Who cares? In, over the past two f seasons, Mindy and Charlie have created an incredibly fun, fresh world within the iconic Who Done It franchise. While we won't be moving forward with another season, season of the series, we thank them for their compelling coming of age stories, unrivaled clues, and hilarious hijinks. I mean, Glenn Howerton was good. I liked his voice. Constance Wu, Daphne, I thought her voice was pretty good. Norval, I mean, they're all, the, they're all fine. His name was Norval, not yet Shaggy. Jane Lynch, Wanda Sykes, no thank you. They were annoying. Stephen Root was okay. I don't remember. Maybe I do re remember Weird Al for like a hot second. Um, apparently, multi multiple iterations of Scooby-Doo remain available at Max. A live-action series from Berlanti Productions is in development at Netflix. How dare they? Who even? I didn't even know that. Ah, uh, and this is also uh, Deadline. Well, that was The Hollywood Reporter. Yeah, this is Deadline. Canceled two seasons. Ten episodes, second season, dropped April 25th. I, no one cared. Everyone was really upset and kind of hate watching it the first season. And then the second season was even less interesting and just not funny. And it was just like, yeah, I, 
just no one cares. And that's the worst part is apathy. When things get to apathy, that's where you just need to pull the plug. So they pulled the plug on this project, and I just wanted to be the first one to dance on their graves, I guess. Because no one else is talking about it. Literally, nobody is talking about the fact that Velma got canceled. I think people had just so much vitriol for it. This is one of those things where they ruin the franchise forever, where the next time you see a project and you're like, Greg Berlanti's attached to that. Didn't Gr Greg Berlanti like ruin the Arrowverse? Yeah, I think he did. Didn't he make Supergirl? Yeah, I think he did. I'm not watching this. Yeah, people are just going to be done and over with it. So I am sorely. I'm not sad. I think it's funny. I hope you think it. If you think it's funny, let me know in the comments below. If you hate me for making fun of it, you could do that too. I don't mind. We can share. You can laugh uh, and, and cry in misery, and I will laugh and cry in uh, adoration of them canceling it. So anyway, thought I would bring that to you, discuss all my random thoughts on it, and uh, we say adios and adieu to Velma. Good night. Goodbye, sweet prince. We hardly knew ye, or we knew too much about ye. You're ye, Jay-Z. I'm on to the next one. Thanks for catching the video. Be sure to join our channel to get the education you deserve. Make sure you check out our shorts, live streams, and catch us on all the socials. Don't forget to like and subscribe.